Pink Fresh stepping up against KML's tournament's very own Red Oolong. I love Red Oolong because he is a Nerf fan. That is literally the only reason. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love it. You know, Peak Fresh, though. Peak Fresh be playing these villains. I'm serious. Sephiroth, Min Min, you name it. He plays he DLC it. pack, too. Yeah, he only plays villains. Exactly. <laughs> and now I feel as though Red Oolong kind of forced down to the second stock very early here by this uh, tall, lanky, menacing. Demon figure. But yeah, it, it just felt like Oolong didn't respect the sword. He yeah. went off stage like, I'm going to go ahead and get deep breathing. I'll go ahead and build up my resources off stage. Well, um, yeah, Sephiroth got something to say about that. That's true. Okay, now we just get the ledge trapping yet again. This is where Pink Fresh has consistently shown that he is able to shine at the ledge. I dig those t those up bees immediately angled down. It just seems like a uh, a really great option when people think think that you're being a little bit aggressive off edge. It's true, but I mean, for Red Oolong, it's not something that I think is really all that necessary because you can see how quickly Red Oolong is just disengaging, like going back and getting a deep breathing or trying to go for Heather, charging Sun Salad, sun, uh, Salutation. So it's not all that necessary that he goes with that quick little blade dash downwards, but it is helpful. All right, one wing is on deck right here. Has to go ahead and make something out of this, though. The parry into the forward throw. Good pressure from Oolong. Deep breathing on deck. Ooh, good recognition that he was going to have to shield there for that forward air. Now, huh. Fourth? No, that won't do it either. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like this character really has a... Any good killing throws. Yeah, I don't think up throw would have done anything. So the ducking is a legit strategy in this yes. matchup because it's so hard to actually hit that with your back air, but it doesn't necessarily matter. The up smash will do with max rage and one wing. Yeah, a lot of those like skewer moves plus that side B are just going to go above and around you. You're actually able to plank a lot of that stuff. So oh, yeah. if Red Oolong is going to be smart with his, uh, his crouching, I think that could be really useful here. However, we probably won't see too much of it. He's playing the long game right now and doing a very good job of it, but still has to get himself back from this deficit. I feel like this is the way to do it, though. You have to go ahead and pin Pink Fresh to the corner. Don't allow him to actually set up on you with those forward airs and back airs. Neutral air actually Ooh. served a frame trap. It looks like he just matched the drift. And look at the damage right here. Uh -oh. yep. If he was really, he would have gone off stage with that. Oh, but we're not done yet. And goes for that little stall bike. Yeah, <laughs> there we I go. I guess he's real. I guess he's real. But he texts he it. That's tech? crazy. <laughs> oh Red Oolong, God. you mad lad. Yet again, I'm serious. Impressive. I'm Pink so Fresh. disappointed. Pink Fresh really thought he had it there. Red <laughs> Oolong is like, hey. Any oh, that's that's that kills now. That that hitbox was sus. That's he, he actually like reached out like a full character length in front of him. Like. The scoop box like, is massive. Like, a lot, like, I've seen that hitbox. It's not wide. No. It's really, really thin. And you still got that? Like, I don't know. I can't believe I'm having to say this, but I think I think uh, We Fit Trainer might have to lay out the Twinkies. <laughs> uh, chill a out. little bit long and lanky. He's maybe stretching out for chill a hitbox there. Why don't, you hit the, why don't you hit the gym? Go go do some squats. The glutes are looking a little, a little pacey, man. <laughs> Come on. What is this? All right. Hey, Byleth. Hey, hey, we we do DLC Fighter Actually, Pass one two. Actually, just DLC. Okay. We just do Fighter Pass one two. Don't worry. This is just the greatest of Pink Fresh album. <laughs> he's he's bringing out all the characters that I haven't seen for a minute and a half. Pink Fresh pulled out the wallet tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only character missing from the stable right now is Lucas. This is the credit card roster. Hey, <laughs> put it all on mine. <laughs> all right, but right now, uh, Byleth, that's not named Justin, here at Xanadu uh, versus Red Oolong. Going. Wait. Justin Byleth at home? Yeah, just, yeah. this is Justin Byleth at home. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what, yep, one fail not away from failing. Yes. Yes. What it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad succinct. you got Succinct. Succinct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're kind of seeing exactly what Pink Fresh wants to do. He wants to go ahead and set up that ledge pressure with back here, but great roll on from Oolong, able to go ahead and actually make it back unpressured. The up air not quite going to claim the stock, trying to get a refresh, but Pink Fresh having something to say about that. Crazy. He does it again. He goes for another one. This is a lot of deep breathing. He's really just playing this game. All right, but hey, it's okay. We're playing the rhythm game. You got to do what you got to do. Hey, hey, you get yourself out of here. That's that big axe coming down to execution style to uh, finish this job. Yeah, that's the headman right there. Just absolute sweep. 
All right. One more option. It's the falling Nair. Space perfectly. Red Oolong able to retake center stage and control of it at that. And I'm loving the respect that Oolong is giving to Pink Fresh at edge. Like, you, you cannot, like, try to pressure by the close up. And the problem is that that's such a huge part of Wii Fit Trainer's game plan. Like, Wii Fit Trainer needs to get this ledge pressure, needs to build that up for a lead, but that seems to just be completely gone here yeah. because of that, uh, that threat of that upbeat. Catches that spot dodge as well with the Sun Salutation being a big charge shot. Very nice. Red Oolong still getting caught on the platform. That's not ideal. That up air could be so potent, especially on those platform callouts. Looking for that side B. Going to have to disengage and get yourself back. Looking for a reset for the down air. That's a little crazy. <gasps> I mean, Pink Fresh is looking for a lot right now. He wants a stock in quick. Very true, but we get another one of these nice fares. Great string of those. Just roll on immediately through the projectile to your doom, to the waiting arms of Red Oolong. Trying to land with an aerial, and then again, just outspacing that neutral air and landing immediately with a tail. Beautiful from Leon to claim the lead. Pink Rush is just trying to just do this like double jump from ledge into like forward air a lot. Like he's just trying to poke above the ledge, and he's been doing that not just with this character, but he's been doing it with like Min Min as well. I can just tell that like Red Oolong has finally had enough of this and is starting to pay attention to those signs. We have not seen that down air two frame quite yet, but you know Pink Fresh has been looking for it so far. Oh, beautiful spacing from Pink Fresh to get over that and then find that fast fall with the fair. Just chipping away at shield here is Byleth with these forward airs. Had the right idea just a little bit late. Spot dodge into the immediate berry. Yeah, rough times. Uh oh, has to, has to drop it and then. Oh, look like that almost caught. Yeah, just the spot dodge appeared, or excuse me, air dodge appeared to be perfectly timed to dodge it. Yep, and then you can't find the landing option here. It's Byleth going to be looking for the Nair off that platform as well. Deep breathing, but again, you're looking for that neutral B. It's just going to be a little laggy. Byleth Nair is such a good character. Though. <laughs> like that entire, yeah. that entire game, it felt like just Byleth Nair was absolutely putting on a show for Pink Fresh. Yeah, Byleth Nair wins the matchup. While with everything else, that's a little... Maybe not. Jury's still out on that one. <laughs> Pink Fresh losing that game out. Red Oolong taking the game. We just didn't see any of the explosive stuff that Byleth is capable of. We didn't see, like, the uh, the Nair to dash attack killing at 90. We didn't see, like, a back air or a forward air killing super we early. We didn't see any of those upbeat tether grabs, mm -hmm. uh, like, like leading into, like, si like side B or, or back air or anything like that. Like, he, he'd been trying to catch Red Oolong uh, up in the air above him with one of those, like, big upbeat uh, call-outs. But... Just not Did working not out. Did not work out, yeah, so. All right, so let's put money down. What's the next character? What's the next character from, 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 from Pink, Pink Fresh? From Pink Fresh? The rotations are going to continue. I think, I think it'll be Sora. I think it'll be Sora. Small Battlefield? Yeah, I think we're Sora. I'm feeling a Sephiroth return. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Oh, we're Lucina. both wrong. We're both wrong. Okay. Both wrong. Pink Fresh is literally just... <laughs> He's saying, I'm going to play every single character I know. He's got to go Lucas now. It's a revolving door of Pokemon. Uh, we do have Pink Fresh going with the uh, the lovely, elegant. Um, actually, I, nope. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna skip ahead. Um, let's go, Red Oolong. Lovely, elegant. I see here. I'm just. Uh, I was. I was gonna. Skip, I was gonna skip it because I. I think I ended up. Yeah. Okay. Red Oolong, though. Uh, we do. We do have. Uh, still, this is a tough matchup, right? Because it's a sword. Yeah, that's a lot of like. I'll, I'll, at the beginning of the game, basically every single Weaver trainer said, we lose to all the Swords. Um, since then, I think it's evolved a little bit as they've come up with more and more counterplay. Most of that counterplay is just camping, though. So we're yeah. not seeing a lot of that right now. Like, Pink yeah. Rush has just been just absolutely putting it to Red Oolong. You're 100% right on that one, Skaz. And, and you can see the spacing. I mean, this is he's trying to do the footsies game, trying to play out this, uh, this neutral and try to get himself in on these approaches, this ah, the revenge you can't always think that that's over for you. We are gonna get that trade. Nice has to get up. So this this should be death. Like you can just rinse and repeat this constantly. Yes. You can either do you can do the reverse uh, up B, just like drop down and then immediately right. up B back up. Yeah, like, Dolphin Slice will eventually kill. I yeah. mean, if that doesn't, so you can go for the back air, you can go for anything else. Um, but Red Oolong still, you know, you can see this is a very potent advantage state for Pink Fresh, as it would be expected. And then just slowly drifting back to stage, oh. and he did not grab the edge and immediately dies for it. Fastball too fast. Yeah. 
just those characters that are a little bit floaty, like Lucina, that also have like solid fastball data. Yes. It's just like you immediately like turn it on. Right. Like their gravity yeah. is kind of like low, but they have really, really fast fall speed, so it's pretty crazy. All right, but. Hey, that Epto, pressure. Epto putting in mad work for Red Oolong in the set. It's a good move. It just is a good move. Well, it doesn't it seem like it should be. It is, but he's going to need it against this character, I think, because that's one of the things, the few things that I think that can really kind of challenge if you space yourself right and actually get the punish. Speaking of good moves, um, this is another character whose Nair is a good character by themselves. Yeah. Like, Lucina Nair just does everything, and in this matchup, we're already seeing Pink Fresh using it to knock away projectiles, but right there, the parry on the second hit allows Oolong to retaliate with a forceful blow to clean that game. I mean, you can tell that the pace of the game, or like the whole set, has slowed down since uh, since we've seen the Lucina pick from Pink Fresh. However, Red Oolong is happy to play that slower pace game and is benefiting from it, right? Because he's able to outspace, he's able to play a little bit campier, and even though the footsies has been good from Pink Fresh, Red Oolong is winning these neutral interactions so frequently. Part of the issue, too, is that like, I, I talked up Lucina Nair, but we're seeing a lot of Pink Fresh's rising Nairs get punished, and Lucina yeah. is very liable to have those get slapped away. It's the falling ones and the deadly ones. Exactly, the falling ones, because you can end up canceling and going for Nair 1 into things like up tilter or more for, for potential stocks to be taken. Uh, still have not seen that. You have to see if Pink Fresh is going to be breaking off the rust on this character, looking for that grab range that doesn't exist. Shield Breaker. I, I think that might be the. Uh, Where the way is to get the neutral beat? You're yeah. right. It's a move that's relatively disjointed. I think it's Lucina's longest hitbox on ground. So you can definitely like use that to just like ward away. Instead, the air dodge back onto stage, yeah. hard punished and pink fresh, too stocked in I've, game three. I think I'm spoiled a little bit because I've been watching too much stretch. Stretch does have a very nice decision. It's just like, I think, yeah, I feel like that just, when, when you watch like a stretch Lucina and you watch pink fresh as Lucina, it's just like, it feels as though he knows what he should be doing. It's the execution. It's just like he sometimes is just looking for the right answers in perhaps the wrong places. So, I don't know. There's a metaphor in there somewhere. <laughs> all the right moves in all the wrong places? I just don't know what that is. So, yeah, I wanted want somebody in chat. Red, Red can Abyss saying that Violet Nair and Uppy are the only things in their kit that feel genuinely DLC. That's, That's enough. That's enough. That's definitely enough. <laughs> Nair is... That, that is like a top five Nair. Good God. That's true. <laughs> all right, but hey... Let's see what happens here in uh, this game number four. Yeah, and I, I, I have absolutely no idea. We're going to get Lucas, please. Marth. So we are going with the stretch. Mm -hmm. so, I would have loved to see the Lucas, to be honest with you. Blast from the past. Oh, yeah, exactly. Or the Diddy Kong. True. We haven't seen give Pink Fresh Diddy in forever. Give me, the, give me the Pink Diddy Kong. Like, yes. that's that, But, hey, it's all right. We are going to see Marth. So if he's going to play like he was trying to play like Marth like that last game... We got to get the payoff if we're going to be playing like that. So basically, like you will get a free few, a few free tippers in this matchup because of the way that Red Oolong's trying to play. Like he's trying to play at like basically tipper distance because his moves have a similar spacing. Exactly. Right, and he knows if he gets out just outside your range and then fades back in with some of the drift, then he can get a whip punish. However, uh, if you don't get that, you're dead. What? However, he air dodged happening? and realized he used a double jump and then immediately died for it. It's Tuesday, except it's not Tuesday, and actually it is Tuesday, and it's not Dexter. <laughs> True. But that's the problem, is that Mark cheats. He's liable to kill you at 60. Like, Tipper Ford's match is unreasonably strong. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, and we are going to get that extension back here with the good. header. <laughs> yep, very nice stuff. Uh, beautiful extension. I, I think Red Oolong is still going to have to be very wary uh, looking for those delays offstage, because yeah. Pink Fresh is going to continue to look for that. It's like non-Tipper back here is liable to, like, kill it like 180. Yeah. Tipper back here is liable to kill it like 100. It is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. 130 at worst with good DI. Dawson off stage, reset the situation. Respecting the deep breathing. Interesting. I would like to see like Pink Fresh try to like pressure that with a single hit side beat. Oh no, killed. that looked a, that, that no, that should like not that, that no. Bad DI. Bad. Bad. Made me feel sick to my stomach. Red Oolong able to steal one away from Pink Fresh though. Now, Pink Fresh is really going to be feeling that pain with the first SD. So the trick for um for the Marth Dancing Blades is actually to like look at where you are in the hitbox and then either hold in or out, out so yeah. that you do not get tippered. Yeah. Because if, if he's hitting you at the wrist, keep holding in because you don't want hacks to get that. If right. he's hitting you towards the tip, hold out for dear life and uh, make sure that you right. don't get tippered. And blasting. if you're holding out, they can just delay and like... like yes, like, that's the messed up part, the next do level. A, do a, like a, uh, a slow, a slow uh, rhythm. 
That parry was unreasonably good. That was, but it doesn't really get you anything other than maintaining stage control, and then you lose it immediately afterwards. Look for the dare, very close, and another parry. Red Ulog's been getting a lot of those tonight. Can None. we talk about how Aegis Dare is the same thing as this character's dare, but it's just significantly, significantly better in all ways, shapes, and forms? True. That's true. <laughs> that oh. standing grab whiffed, money back. This man has paid $30 on all the DLC. We've seen it this tournament. Sakurai, write that man a check because Mark's hand was inside of a Weepit Trainer's shield. Oh my lord, I'm but actually angry for Pink Fresh. But he's not DLC though. You gotta, pay, you gotta pay for that grab to grab. That one costs $60. You gotta pay for that grab. If you want that to connect, that's a DLC pack right there. <laughs> oh my god, that's so messed up. We pay to win now. It literally is like the microtransaction pops up and like, do you want to get this grab? Five saw five dollars. Do I really want this <laughs> oh that my bad? God, that's so I do. Up. That's so messed up. I do want this that bad. All right, y'all. Give me, so, give me, take it. So we have ZD and Oolong stepping up for grand finals. I just want to say thank you all so much for stopping by this evening. I know that we haven't addressed a lot of issues in chat. We are trying to go ahead and stay positive, focus on the games, but all the love that you guys have been tossing out in chat, it has not gone unnoticed. Thank you all so much for the positivity this evening, and uh, we are just about ready to start off with grand finals.